Hello everybody, Brad Johnson here. Just parked in a park. <laughs> and wanted to do this video on a very important topic as well. And that topic is all about intellectual knowing and realized knowing. So with this type of topic, I'm doing this because this is something that comes up so much throughout the years. What I've been, when I've been doing uh, private sessions, or when I've been talking to groups, and so forth. So usually when I start talking about the nature of spirit, when I start talking about being in your heart space, learning to live inside the heart, understanding that we are all one, that we are all connected, that you are not the body, that you are not the mind, I get very, very commonly, yeah, Brad, I know all that. I know, I know what you're trying to say, but... <laughs> I know that I'm one with spirit. I know that I am not the body and not the mind. I know that I am the divine in that way. But then you don't know. You see? This is where the problem lies. Many of us hear these things. We get it from videos. We get it from uh, books. We get it from articles. We hear it from experts, teachers, etc. We hear it to death. We hear it to death about, I am one with all that is, I am not the body, I am not the mind, I need to learn to live from the inside, etc. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. And it goes on and on with the idea of intellectual knowing. But see, that's the problem. It's not about intellectual knowing. If you are going into the state of intellectual knowing, you're only looking at something at the surface. You hear the term. You hear the phrase. It's just becoming natural to you. That as soon as I open up a spiritual book, it's going to tell me the same thing. Oh, I know what Brad's going to say. Right? Look inside your heart. Learn to live inside the heart. Learn to be at one with spirit. Learn to be one with the divine, etc., etc. But again, we intellectually know these things. But we do not spiritually know these things. We do not realize these things. And there is a very big difference between intellectually knowing these things and realizing these things. So this is why I call it intellectual knowing and realized knowing. Where realized knowing comes into play when you are actually going through an experience that you have learned from. Right. So if we're talking about the idea that I truly am one with God. I know that I am not the body and the mind. I have to go through an experience for me to truly realize that. I have to feel what it's like to live inside the heart. And when I'm there, I just look at the outer world and saying, wow, like nothing touches me in the outside world anymore. I'm not concerned about other people's opinions. I'm not concerned about current events or world events that's happening in the world. It's not phasing me anymore because I know it's not my business. I know it's not something for me to be concerned about. All I have to do is look after myself, is be responsible for myself, and then I shift, I transform, I metamorphosize into this true realized being. And now with my family and my friends, I simply present myself as I am. And I'm not concerned about other people's opinions anymore. I'm not concerned about the situations with the world. I'm not concerned about the problems that my family or friends are going through. Because I know that they are as I am. They too are loving, sentient beings. They too are the soul. They too are the divine they too can learn to live inside, but I can't force that upon them. And I've been beating my head against the wall, trying to think that I need to enforce this upon them. I want them to be where I am. That's what I've been doing. And I don't have that drive anymore. Because I now realize that everything truly is in balance. Everything truly is whole. So just through that example... That is coming from a realized person. How did that person get realized? They went into the experience and they learned from it. 
they went within. And as they went within, there was processing taking place. That processing was helping to show them a bigger picture. And that's spirit's job. That job is for spirit to do that for you. That you are desiring to go within. That you are committed to know what it is like to truly go inside and feel that experience wholeheartedly. And say, oh my goodness, I can feel all these things washing away. All these regrets, these traumas, these conflicts, I've cleared them away. I've gone softer. Right? It's like people who are doing the BCR technique. They know this. They've actually done the work. And they've come out of the experience realized. Life is not about me juggling these regrets, these traumas, these conflicts anymore. I can now just drop the juggling balls. Let them fall to the ground where they will. And let them be. I'm not juggling the pain of life. I'm not juggling suffering anymore because I no longer see suffering. If it's compared to a magician in a magic show, I can see all of the magician's tricks. I can see through their magic show. It doesn't intimidate me anymore. It doesn't bother me anymore. It doesn't concern me anymore because now I've realized by doing something like an inner practice, I realize that I am that. I realize that I am the whole. I realize that as I clear away all these inessentials that have nothing to do with me, I'm free. From that person, sharing that true realization, this is what surpasses intellectual knowledge. See, intellect, really, I would say, isn't really the knowledge that you want. I'm not going to say it's not knowledge, it is to a degree, but it's knowledge of a surface degree. Okay? It's not something that is going to complete you. It's not something that's going to satisfy you. It's not something that's going to fulfill you. Intellect can't do that. It's not designed to do that. It's incapable of doing that. But when you go into realization because of your experiences, and you're witnessing how your experiences are reshaping you, that is realized knowledge. That does fulfill you. That does complete you. That does bring clarity. That is what brings you realization. This is all I've done, guys, throughout the years. Is I've gone within because I trust myself from within. And I go within, I go into the heart, and I say, okay, what is some of the muck? What is some of the filth that is still clamoring around my heart? That's still running rampant around my body? And I identify these things. Okay, I recognize that I had that old traumatizing experience. I had that old relationship. I had this old problem. I had this old falling out. And now that I realize all those things, I was able to clear them. You see, guys, clearing your problems is not the hardest thing. It's being able to recognize that you have problems. Because everybody likes to walk around like they don't have a problem. It's not my problem, it's that person's problem. It's that guy's fault. It's that woman's fault. Right? It's society's fault. It's my job's fault. It's my boss's fault. It's the mainstream media's fault. It's the government's fault. Right? Everybody else is to blame. The hardest thing that people have is being able to go within themselves and humble themselves. This is why we just get stuck with intellectual knowing, because we don't have to do that with the intellect. We just get ourselves in more trouble, but we don't have to move into a humility with intellectual knowing. It just digs more of a hole for us. It is incomplete. It is the separate self. It is the ego. We don't feel like we have to be responsible, even though it's eating you alive. So this is why intellectual knowing is not enough. It's not going to get you through life. It's not some harmless thing. It's extremely harmful. Because you are not letting yourself go into realization. You are not whole. You are not in harmony in here. And if you want to get to know yourself, if you want to truly know the divine, if you want to truly know who you are and what you are, 
and that which you are. You have to go into realization. You have to take forward these experiences and move into them and learn from them. And you are learning from them with a humbled mind. This is why we go into breath work. This is why if we're doing with something like BCR, we're going into breath work, we're moving ourselves into a subtle state of being, and we go into calmness. Because that is what's going to help you with humility. If you're constantly playing a blame game, you're the only one with your problems. There's nobody else in all of creation that has your problems. You're the only one. This is why I say, you're the only one here. Because nobody else thinks like you do. Nobody else feels like you do. Nobody else inherits problems like you do. Nobody else sees this world, sees life, as you do. Therefore, when you come to people with problems, it's not their problems. It's not your family's problems. It's not your friend's problems. It's not the government's problems. It's not the world's problems. It's yours. And how did those problems occur? Intellectual knowing. Thinking you know. Thinking you have all the answers when you're not even close. That is incompletion. That is a separate self. That is the ego. And in order for us to completely clear that away, we have to learn to start listening to ourselves. We have to welcome in these experiences that are going to help shape us. You can only shape clay when it is soft so that we can turn it into something glorious. If we have that hardened clay that's been left out for so long, we can't shape anything. If we have that clay that has been left out for so long, we can't shape anything. We remain with the hardened clay. Nothing can be bent. So it's about looking at yourself in the mirror and saying, am I this hardened clay or am I clay that's soft and bendable? And only you can bend your own clay. Nobody else can bend your clay, right? If you're this ball of clay, it is through your hands and your hands alone that shape you. Because you are willing to do so. Because those hands that are now shaping you are the hands of spirit. Because you are making those hands what they are to shape that clay, to turn it into something truly beautiful and truly magnificent. Whereas if you're working with hard clay, you might as well be working with concrete. You try to work with anything, it'll just break. It'll shatter. It'll fall apart. So this is a very important thing to understand. It is to know through realization that you have been shaped. Realize knowing is going to bring you closer to God. It is going to bring you closer to the divine. It is going to bring you closer to source. It is going to bring you closer to the infinite, to the permanence, to that which is beyond mind, to that which is still and silent, to that which is unchanging, never beginning, never ending, the absolute, the self. How do we get there? By going within and stripping away through all that clay all the inessentials that do not need to be there. And the only way that is going to happen is through your humility, is through your ability to be calm, to not constantly getting worked up and getting offended and getting triggered about every single thing that you find on this planet because your problems are your own. You cannot resolve a problem by being a problem. You have to let it all go. And when you go through that experience and say, oh my God, I've completely metamorphosized myself. I've completely shifted. I understand now what clarity I'm feeling. That is the wholeness. That is where the reward comes in the greatest way that can be expressed. You're no longer relying on the intellect. There's a time and a place for the intellect. We take care of it for earthly, worldly matters. Right? We got to pay our bills. We go on our bank account. We take care of our bills. We got to go build some stuff around the house. 
We use the intellect to build stuff around the house. We need to fix our car. We use the intellect to fix our car. All of that's fine. But it's the idea of you really going into the depth of yourself. If you want depth, this is where realized knowing needs to come together. So again, before you say, oh, I know this, I know this, are you sure? I'm talking about you saying that when you say, you know this, this is the realization. This is what has brought me into wholeness. I am not trying to intellectually understand all these spiritual teachings that Brad is trying to say. Because if you're only absorbing all this stuff that I've been sharing for the many years through your intellect, then you haven't understood any of it. You have to really feel this through yourself. You have to feel it with your heart. You have to realize, I now know. I get it. Not just with me, with many great teachers as well too, where they have taught all of this. I'm not teaching you guys anything new. They have too shared this also. And we think we understand it by intellect. And you can't. You cannot really understand anything through intellect. Anything that matters anyways. That is where realized knowledge needs to come through. You have to understand this through the heart, not through the brain. So thank you so much for tuning into this video. And I'll speak to you again in another perspective of the now. Take care and be well. Thank you very much for checking out the New Earth Teachings YouTube channel. Feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And you can check out the websites, newearthteachings.com, where you can order a private session, three questions by email, EQ method, and a lot more. And you can also check out healingcodecards.com, where you can grab your mind deck, your body deck, and of course the brand new body deck special edition. All of these are available in digital editions as well. And you can also get a shirt just like this through healingcodeshop.com where you can experience the healing codes in apparel form. So feel free to check out these websites. Thank you so much and I'll speak to you again in the next video. Be well.